Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So if you spend any time watching my channel, then you probably know that I am a Linux lover. I run Linux Mint as my main desktop operating system. And I also built a quote-unquote monster Linux PC. I have an entire playlist on that. Now the thing is, I've never really run any type of graphical benchmarks or stress tests on my machine. But I'm going to do that today. Now I do want to say that I am not a modern gamer and so the hardware that I have is pretty much average to maybe below average for some people. And so looking at the specs that I have, I have an Intel Core i7-6700K, I am running 16 gigs of RAM, and my graphics card is an AMD RX 470 GPU with 4 gigs of RAM, it is an MSI model. And then in terms of storage, I actually have three different hard drives. My first hard drive is an SSD. It is a 250 gig hard drive. That's where I run my operating system. And then I have another SSD, a 750 gig for storage. Plus I have a mechanical hard drive. I have a four terabyte hard drive for even more storage. And the benchmarks I'm gonna run is from the tried and true Unigen benchmarks. The great thing is the development team have made these available for Linux. And so there's three of them available. The oldest one is Heaven from 2009. The next one is Valley in 2013. And then the most recent one is Superposition in 2017. And I have all three of these benchmarks available. And I'm going to be running my system through all three of these. Now I will say that I am running this in pretty much the default settings at 1080p. I'm not going to be running it on extreme hardware. And so let's see how this performs. And there is the Unigen benchmark. And I'm not going to do anything special. I'm just going to run whatever the default is because I'm running 1080p. I just want to see what type of performance I get. So let's go ahead and run this. And we'll see whether or not my hardware is up to the task of playing at least the type of modern games I would play. So once it loads up, we'll go ahead and run the benchmark right here. There's a benchmark system right there. So let's go ahead and try this out. And once the benchmark is done, uh, I will show you the results. Uh, but you probably can't see this, but the frames per second is up here. Right now it's at around 37, 36 frames per second. Uh, so not actually the highest, but for me, as long as it's 30 frames or above, uh, I'm pretty happy because that is playable. So let's go ahead and let that run. Okay, so the Heaven benchmark is done, and so this is my overall score. My frames per second was 49.6. I had a score of 1250. These are uh, Unigen scores. My minimum frames per second was 15.2, and my max frames per second was 114.4. So at least for me, around 50 frames per second on average is good enough, but that is for a very old benchmark back in 2009. So let's go ahead and move over to the next benchmark. And so the next benchmark is Valley. Let's see how this one runs. Uh, because the Heaven one was pretty old. And so here is the Valley benchmark. And we'll go up to benchmark and let's go ahead and run this.
Okay, so the benchmark is done and my average frames per second is 50.7. The score is 2,122. My minimum frames per second is 28.7 and my max frame per second was 93.9. But this is very similar to the heaven benchmark that I just had. And so now we have one more to go. Okay, so the final benchmark we have is superposition from 2017. More than likely this is gonna be the most stressful one. And uh, right now, here's the preset at 1080p. And this one should really stress my machine, at least from 2017 standards. And there it goes, it's gonna start. Okay, so the benchmark is done, and my uh, average frames per second is 44.64. The score is 5,968. My minimum frames per second is 35.80, and my maximum frames per second is 61.68. And so overall, I was getting close to 50 frames per second on average. This one is 45, but still it is, at least for me, above what I need to actually make a playable gaming experience. Like 30 frames or more is pretty good for me. And the one thing that I do want to mention is in terms of drivers that I'm running, graphical drivers for anybody who might be interested, I am running the default drivers that Linux provides. And these are probably the open source Mesa drivers. And I did try to run the proprietary drivers from AMD. Uh, but it just didn't work well and even when I was able to get it to work it didn't really perform much better than whatever I already have so you know kudos for the team to actually provide these open source drivers that actually work pretty well and so overall I am happy with the results that I was able to get out of this and then once again I do want to reiterate I am not a modern high-end gamer and so for some people this might not even be playable but for me it is more than enough and uh, I'm very happy with how this quote unquote monster Linux PC has turned out. And so if you had any thoughts on these particular benchmarks or maybe some of your own benchmarks that you run on your Linux operating system, be sure to put that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.